Hey guys, this is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. That's the iPhone 5. This is the new Moto X, and I want to show you both mainly because the size is similar. You got a 4.7 inch screen here. You're all familiar with the iPhone 5. But the point is, Apple likes to advertise that you can reach all over the screen on this phone. Here with the Moto X, you can do the same, and they told me specifically they built it. Yes, I have chubby fingers, I know that. But they built it so you can reach across the screen easily, and you really can. I've actually been waiting for a, an Android phone that you can reach across the entire screen with your finger, and that's important these days, especially as we're getting into phablets and all kinds of huge phones. I'm really happy to see uh, a nice smaller display on this device. Now, I already brought you the hands-on, but I wanted to show you just how easy it is to navigate around and compare it quickly to the iPhone 5. The body itself, really thin, really pocketable, not too heavy. You know, it is a little weightier than I thought it would be, but I think that's a nice thing. And now Motorola specifically built the battery to fill in that space, that curvature here. It's sort of leveled battery. And I believe it's 2200 milliamp. They promised 24 hours of battery life, which is really nice. Now the iPhone 5. Let's just see how they stack up together. I just want to show everybody, especially if you're an iPhone 5 user and you're kind of tired of Android because you think the screens are too big or whatnot. You get a bigger screen on the Moto X here, but the phone itself is not too much bigger, which is nice because it has that, you know, just a little bit, I'm trying to line this up, just a little bit bigger, but the nice thing is it has the edge-to-edge -edge screen. You can see the bezels are actually a little smaller on the Moto X, not by a lot, but the screen takes up more space. It kind of shoots up higher and sort of looks smaller on the edges there. That's just a quick comparison. Again, they're about the same price. You're going to get 16 gigs of storage on this for 199 Of course, the iPhone 5, 199 as well. 32 is 249 here. Quick look, just comparing the two of them. This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. What's up, everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today! If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.